today we will be talking about the scale up strategy with advantage of cloud communication suite what were your top priorities as a cxo when the pandemic was hit and uh, at the current business scenario adaptability became became a challenge uh, because nobody ever explored uh, the idea of working from home i think it took us probably two to three attempts of uh, different trials of different softwares different uh programs that we were we were planning to incorporate keeping the things simple that was the core mantra because adaptability became a challenge overnight how people react to your things so that was the biggest challenge it was slow steady adaptation of the entire uh, uh, technology and zoom meetings and all these virtual meetings but now i, I think uh, we've got to the mode and it is sort of has worked in the favor of the insurance industry lot of assumptions where we realize uh, we are all skill focused or uh, delivery focused business right we never uh, sort of thought that tech can enable us in any way we thought what i can do how can tech do something like that but all those assumptions uh, are laid to rest in the last two years and that's that's our biggest learning we found solutions couriers were going to we were picking up couriers from train stations we were doing uh, many different things to get the couriers running uh, the factories were running but we were not allowed to travel to factories so it was very localized production uh, eventually things worked out it was stressful but you just have to be prepared for that change that everyone's talking about and once you're prepared for the change you will be able to see possibilities open up how cloud communication suite can redefine sme business growth cloud i think uh, it's not the next big thing it is the big thing and and that's what we have seen as a, as an organization i have seen the kind of change which has happened in this last one one and a half years uh, in particularly i will just take an example of one of our product which is the cloud telephony product you know it's called a smart flow and and that has worked remarkably you know people who were not able to go to office and make calls to the clients specifically in the bpo sector or in the kpo sector uh, we designed this solution so that at from home you know they can be in touch with their customers uh, n number of uh, uh, customization which is possible in order to generate uh, reports uh, uh, you know pertaining to that particular work uh, and and it's done remarkably well this this product smartflow which is nothing but a cloud telephony solution so i'd like to ask this panel a question how does the pivot of cloud communication suite can enhance the experience and efficiency among your customers uh, this is really going to help to even uh, the minor issues that a bpo faces i mean to specifically talk about a city like mumbai during rains it's really difficult to get to work so today if we have a cloud communication suite i do not uh, you know without hampering my productivity or not having people at work i still have an option to make sure that the work is 100% up the cloud communication now instead of being a luxury item it is a necessity so it is something that has become a mandatory for any organization be it a small or large nobody can escape from a cloud communication suite kind of a thing and all the meetings and communications are happening virtually approvals workflows uh, which were there some manual part was also involved in it now we are trying to automate the process as much as possible we firmly believe that it's going to be a uh, something that is inbuilt within uh, the infrastructure of an organization and it's uh, uh, definitely saves on resources it uh, provides better security and uh, we also believe it's a shared responsibility so uh, i mean it's the hybrid model uh, that um, most organizations that are uh, especially in the insurance space are going to adopt and cloud telephony definitely helps us to listen live to listen uh, at uh, peace at time and it really helps us to monitor the quality of the services that we provide whether it's cloud on a virtual server or cloud on your server but cloud is normally on the virtual server but the point is a centralized database for accessing all your information is critical 
and cloud is more secure than the normal servers. Also, when you uh, are doing communication via the cloud with all the chat rooms that you can create on that, it kind of becomes easier now. What kind of technology adoption did you initiate to ensure that your business was continually going without being stopped? We have a team of developers, engineers who kind of customized and developed a lot of programs, uh, which, which, which really helped us to probably uh, wear and tear and repair the issues that we faced over a period of time quicker than most of our competitors. There were many instances where we had to re-innovate the entire processes in this. Yes, uh, the blessings in disguise was that uh, unlike five years back where connectivity was more of a challenge in the semi-urban areas or tier three cities kind of a thing, it was more uh, balanced in this. I would not say it was up to the expectations, but it was more balanced. And after multiple reiterations, we could manage our technology fixes. So our company was heavily focused on the security bit because uh, again, being on the insurance side, we've seen how companies are getting impacted by these. I um, mean, technology has enabled, but there's a flip side. So all these ransomware attacks and data breaches and so on and so forth. So there was a lot of focus on how secure we can make the business by using the right tools and technologies uh, on that front. Mainly it's adoption of technology, which became streamlined and very uh, like hastened across all levels of society, whether be it at the really low labor force level up to the customer level. Like we would have elaborate meetings on uh, Zoom and Google Meet now with clients while we had these basic WhatsApp calls with labor as well. How cloud communication suite can redefine SME business growth? We used to sell simple internet lease lines, you know, uh, simple internet lease circuits. Uh, but then when we, when we saw that customers would require a router, a firewall, or some kind of a manageability of the internet, then he might have to speak to two, three vendors separately, you know. So we said, uh, we as a telecom service provider, why, why, why can't we provide all these three things together? We, we had a platform that we designed where somebody can conduct a webinar, somebody can broadcast, you know, uh, a webcast uh, uh, launch, you know. Uh, so this, this we quickly had some vendors with whom we tied up and we delivered these services to our customers. One uh, voice solution, which has uh, helped a lot of uh, companies, specifically BPOs and KPOs, you know, it's a cloud telephony suit, basically. We also designed a VPN solution, which uh, you could access uh, through your mobile. What kind of enterprise solutions do you think uh, would, be uh, uh, would be nice if it is available to enhance the productivity of your business? In our business, uh, real-time monitoring is very, very important. I mean, I cannot wait till the end of the day uh, to track the productivity and make judgments of my future plans or my uh, any any alterations in the strategy for the next day or the next week. If we are managing, say, 50 warehouses, how do we manage each and every warehouses from one location? How is the quality of products that is there in the warehouse being mapped across? So there are, we are evolving in this space. There, there are certain problems which have been resolved, but still there is a lot to go in this space as well. One uh, thing that has uh, I mean, uh, held us back is we are completely reliant on the information that the customer is providing us. We can't validate that without the physical verification unless we have some sort of a cost effective mechanism or technology that an on premise uh, something is, but let's say from a cyber uh, assessment perspective, risk posture assessment perspective, there's an implemented on premise asset that has been deployed which is cost effective and can map the exposure of that particular organization. Technology is available. Amazon has it, Google has it, all of them have it. It's only the price to that technology that's important. I spoke about the ones that are, when I say Amazon and Google, it's something that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. That's why I say it. In our industry, there are others that have it. AI, ML, all of them work. 
but the cost is prohibitively high. I suppose I was in touch with some others and it's not feasible to implement these uh, technologies. So when they can come at the right price is the question. What was that one major initiative for your company's growth? I think apart from wages, infrastructure is the highest cost for any organization. So our growth plans have that uh, very much defined. Probably very soon we'll, we'll have an end to this discussion as well on how do we go about it for the future. So our plan is to grow digitally. And grow digitally means we have to maintain the communication. We have to maintain the channels. We have to get into uh, the machine learnings and artificial intelligence. Our uh, 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 efforts in the future will be that for our clients, we provide solutions more uh, on, uh, uh, on the digitized side. It's all about continuously evolving and seeing what might kick you off in the next three years, four years, five years. I think uh, one needs to be digitally forward in order to exist, you know, competitively in the market, uh, irrespective of the kind of situation that we are in. It was a great session wherein I think we had a lot of things to learn, to share. You know, I think I'm very sure that every panelist uh, had at least one takeaway, which they might uh, certainly uh, get back and, you know, implement in their business to see how it works for them. Right. Mm -hmm.